welcome back to Madame Bonsai. Today I wanted to turn every small tree into a forest like this for you to uh, watch. Not a really nice day in Melbourne today and I walk out in the garden and I saw all these trees in a really big tray but I took out about five or six. It's a copper peach. It's about to losing its leaf. So I thought I might do a quick video on uh, doing a forest with them. So let's start with this and see, I pick a few pot here, but I might just stay with this one here. When you do a forest, you want the pot to be quite thin, depend on the tree of course. If the tree that small and you pick the pot too thick, it doesn't look good. Then we have, I'll show you the tree that I pick out in the tray. All different size, shape, but the same age. If you do different age, sometimes they're not good. They kill each other sometimes. So to say, we've got drain nets in. And you put um, secure wire down because when if you do the forest and you don't want to secure it down, it will move. And when it moves, you will losing the, the design that you start from the beginning. So cut some of this really small wire, just about two mil or one and a half mil gauge. Uh, if you do five tree, then try to fit maybe three set of wire in. That's all. Try to keep it neat. Sometimes you flip up the pot and with your work. Create a habit for yourself that you um, keep it nice and neat. Just pull all the wire out on the side. Now the trees I had here is five or six of them. You just pick up the tallest one or the biggest one first. Try to set that as your center of the forest. If I look at this tree, then I just set it in the way that I know I wanted to create the forest going that way. When you put in your main one, you hold up to another one, similar size. You see how this tree very straight? I can't put it here because the condition of the tree, if this one already go, more to my left it means the sun is over here so you're looking for a tree growing similar condition to have next to it you can be in front or back but the condition of growing have to be similar to so when you set your center piece of your tree which is a bigger one and taller one you find another tree but you have to find the one that is similar shape to it what i mean to say if this tree already go up and lean to my left the next tree should be similar because it had the same condition of growing so the sun somewhere here then both of my trees should have on a similar growing condition they should grow and behave the same don't look at all the leaves just look at the 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 trunk size and also the movement of the trunk so I roughly secure these two trees down. It might take you a little longer than I myself because you have to pick and choose where you want to put things. But that's okay. As long as you get them the right growing condition, the right shape, size, just leave it there for now. You don't have to completely secure. Then if I want you to do the next one, I have to pick a similar tree again to end the forest so that my end of forest, I wanted that that the end of the other side of it. You roughly secure this down. There's no soil in it, so it's not easy for you to do, but I'll show you a trick later on how to hold all your tree together. One, I'm happy with this tree. Just use a little bit of soil to help you to hold it where the tree you want to stay because they does move a lot until you got the soil in. So just feed a little bit of soil into where you want the tree to set and then I'll lay this tree down and I'll fit another bit of soil there and use your finger or the back of your tools is okay too or a chopstick um, anything that that you can get the soil in between the root they don't like air pocket that for sure that the second tree set now my third tree I pull it up again the idea of it then you get the soil underneath this tree. 
but not too far apart from where you haven't set the next one yet. Working with a small tree actually a lot harder than the big tree because they don't have um, liability to stand up by themselves. So you've got to help them a little bit. So now we finished this side of the pot, the forest. Now on this side, you see how this tree go up? It means the condition on this side different. I had this tree quite straight and this one quite straight. So if I wanted to finish my forest, one side lean down to the sun and one go up, then I start this tree. Tree dimensional is good when you do forest. So you don't want to line up your tree straight, even though in video you might see it straight. But for us sitting here, it's not. So if this tree, I want to change the condition of leaving, it means this one got full sun here, so I'm going up. So I want to have this tree there. And I have the similar shape of a tree straight up. I want to plant it here. So I'll quickly tie this down roughly, not to be secure 100%, but just for you to see the difference. Later on, I will show you the trick to cut and trim that it, it looked like that it's been grown together. So if to me, if you can set a forest like that in that time frame really quick, I'm really pleased with this. Now you can secure roughly the older tree down by just using the wire we did before. Fit all your soil in. Get yourself one of these turntable at any uh, bonsai nursery. They're very um, affordable. It makes your life a lot easier when you're potting any tree up. Which you, you sit on one spot and you can turn it around like that. Now, once the soil is already in, use the back of your tool or chopstick. Try to get all the soil in like we did before, or your finger. It's the same exercise. But sometimes with your finger, you don't get the soil get in evenly between all the root. So that will stop the water get down. So like so, you just go all around your pot, get all the soil, get in between the root of the tree. You try to get as much as you can in, but not compact because they are very young trees. So compact is not something you want too compact around the root ball. Then the soil up here, you lay it down. Try to uh, show all the root base so the tree look more interesting. So now you start pulling your soil outside to show all that root base. Some beautiful root here. whatever don't need you can just take it away by just get your hand to go around it you can cut all whatever don't need out so you make it tidy neat so when you secure the tree down soil are in now flat part thin kill tree a lot there is a tiny little trick I want you to know. You, your two thumb, go all around the edge. Very tight. Compact it down to the point that the water can't get there. So when you water, the water will get into all the root bay first. Whatever remain, it go outside, but it sit on top of the soil. If it sit too much along this edge here, you will kill your tree quite easily by over water a flat pot and that my through my experience i see that i wouldn't kill the tree in a square pot like that but i would kill a tree in a flat pot like this due to the water sit on this at too much so the trick i just did then is a merge do for any flat pot uh, and then you will have a lot more relaxing uh, in watering this kind of look of the tree one i think it looked pretty good for just a quick forest setup. Now time to trim to what you want this tree to grow. We already say 
on this side folding that way on that side go up straight so now i wanted to go in trim and cut for what i think it not showing um the right location so let's take some of this off so that is set for what i think in future the tree will look really nice so we go in and trim let's start it on this side which is the tree go up straight cut all this leaf off because you you will lose this in about a week anyway so we'll give you better structure when you string so now if i want to keep this tree a bit smaller i will start trimming from the bottom up i'll take that off this tree a little bit too tall so you take the top of that tree off it become one separate tree there i hope you can imagine it that one tree then you go to the next one say like this one going up like that you take it off it's a little bit big too it make your forest look weak so you want to create a mature tree in a very small tree so you helped it by taking some of the big brands out um, and keep all the little twigs actually will be even it out and make the tree a lot more bonsai uh, in a small pot like this so if you see a big trunk take big twig take it out and keep the small one and then you grow it into a big one so balance with the tree later um, so then take all the leaf out one thing about good about uh, the citrus tree is uh, give you an opportunity to cut all the leaves so you can see the structure of the tree better and in future however you want it to grow you can create it now So you see you created that tree and you created that tree but it's still kind of married together in the same condition of living and nothing different in between that two now we go to our main one how do you want this tree to grow a little bit on this side a little bit on that side or you can fold everything over that side it's up to you but i need to take this out So the tree in the center because it's bigger than the other anyway so you will keep the tree as a main center of it take some of the leaf off trim the tree in a bit smaller you don't have to cut the leaf if you don't have to it will fall down by itself but um one thing about the peach variety that sometimes they don't fall off by itself so you have to help it a bit if you want it quicker look at how they old like this and they still stay on the tree they don't fall they don't sell cleaning as well as like um elm or uh, maple so for bonsai sometimes we need to cut them off a little bit it will in time go but if you can help them your bonsai will look a lot better so that your center you see how this really tall taller than even taller than this tree you must take this down because it's a side branch you have to take it down to balance with the tree you take that down and you see how the top looks so big the little twig will make this tree look a lot better so we take that down let me cut some of these leaves so you can see what i'm doing when you cut all this out you can see structure of the tree a lot better now we go to the next if we call this is our centerpiece then this tree can't be taller on the side if we already try to float it that way so let me take this down the height i promise you when you sit in front of your tree you can see all this that i say makes sense uh, if you don't have a tree to work with you can't think of what i'm doing but if you sit in front of it you will see it so say like this tree here if i talking individuals who see that so the trunk is smaller than this one but the, the top of this tree are so big that it doesn't end well so you take this off you this tiny little twig at your top of the tree so if i take this you see how nice it look already then take this in a bit take that in shorten that run down I like to take this one in a little bit too. Um, so if 
I wish you can sit in front of me now to see this. It's a beautiful, tiny little forest. But it looked like that. I've been putting this for a long time. So that your forest. Now, if you want to dress up this into moss or any topping that you want to create or even a little landscape. So now it's the set out of the forest is finished. You start go back to the root and think. I fold that tree that way, is it mean the root go this way? This tree go this way, it mean the root have to go down. Some of these like this, you clean it out. You want to keep the big, bigger root so it can show the age of the tree. Then if anything's run opposite, you take it out too. So to make it set out nice, right now the soil and the roots color is the same. But give me two seconds, I'll dress this up with um, different color of stone. You will see all the root showing beautiful. You can dress with moss, but I don't suggest you to dress with moss when the trees is too young. They, they stop the water going down sometimes. So I dress this with some small stone. Then you will see how nice it looks in a minute. Let me go and get some stone to do that ideally you would have the pot a little bit narrow but that's all i have today so now you dress your top of the trees your pot up if you want to see clean look like in the forest sometimes you have like a stone kind of look on one side and then moss growing everywhere you can do that but when you do moss when a young tree like this Pick the right spot to put your moss in. I did bring in a few here. Clean up your moss on the bottom. Don't leave any soil on. Now, if I go where the tree root not there to put my moss, then either the water get here or not, it doesn't hurt the tree, then it's okay for you to put some moss on to make it look natural. But if you feed it everywhere, you could kill your tree quite quick. To so say if I just gently fit a little bit around just to make it interesting. But in a year time, when your trees is healthy, the neck grow, you can dress up with moss. But check them sometime. If it does happen that the water can't get down, just use a job stick or something and just give them a few so when you feed moss or stone or anything to dress the pot, don't cover all these big root because that will tell you how nice or the behaving of the tree. Like these three are folding down to my, into me now. Also the root will then have to be uh, exposed so that the natural grow in, in a mountain or anywhere you go, you see you will, the behave of the trees is started from the root. Maybe I'll give it a little bit of green just to show this root, beautiful root here. Remember, anything too much is not good. Bonsai, it less, it can make it look a lot nicer. Don't have to go overboard with it. If you put any figuring, just work out the size of the tree and the side of the figuring you want to put on. Same with rocks. And I think that very good for just like um five tree page in two years time you look back i will show you this in two years if i'm still um, here of course to see how much change you get from here and there you go pitch for it thank you for watching and if you like it please subscribe give me the energy to do the next video for you to enjoy and goodbye for now.